All right. Here's a speech. Pay attention. I'm in the middle of six annoying things, and neither of us want you to become number seven. When you boarded, you got four basic field kits. Solid armad equipment, no frills. Enough to do your job. You got setups for rifle, heavy weapons, tech, and medical. Based on the missions you complete, you get assigned requisition credits. You come to me, ask for the equipment, and if you got the credits, I fabricate it for you. You can requisition new weapons, or attachment for weapons, or consumables. Special ammunition, sentry guns, mines, whatever. I let Marines pick their own gear. You deploy with the wrong shit, you're the one who bites it, not me. Talk to your fire team, work out who's doing what. You're in the field, boot. When you get back to port, hit the commissary or exchange. <laughs> That's my official answer. Between you, me, and the bulkhead, I also got a special inventory. Stuff to personalize your gear. I don't take requisition credits for that. We got an unofficial system. Anybody ask, just say you tactically acquired it. So long as your rep's good, I think we can come to an arrangement. Yo, I got socks. Anything not on the racks, I can pull out of cargo for. I'm Ibrahim Savani, Colonial Marines Intelligence, Surveillance, and Recon Service. Yes, most Marines call us Kamisars. No, we're not as bad as you've heard. Katanga has over 80 years of history, but the interesting bit is from 25 years ago. Its owners, Sikh some company, reported the refinery was destroyed. Yet, here it floats, in a system controlled by Sikh and rival, Wayland Yutani. We compile information on threats to the United Americas and provide it to the Corps to act on. Our sources range from battlefield recon to cyber warfare. Some believe we have spies everywhere, but that's simply not true. If everyone worked for us, who would we spy on? <laughs> that, that, that was a joke. <laughs> we, we joke sometimes. In the previous century, they were a moderately large interstellar corporation. They even had aspirations of competing with Wayland Yutani. Sikson invested heavily in space facilities. In 2174, they purchased Katanga from its previous owner. The refinery was refit and towed to the mid-brim. Katanga was originally constructed 82 years ago by Kinshasa Enterprise Diatat Minier, the state mining enterprise of the DR Congo. In 2170, Kinetat fell under sanction by the United Americas Assembly. They had sold resources to the revolutionary forces during the Hyades' revolts. To survive their financial losses, they auctioned off their space assets. That's when Sigson purchased Katanga. Unclear, the ICC logged that Sigson scuttled it due to irreparable damage. There are no details on the cause or scope of that damage. You'd expect insurers to demand that. I'm following up with Central. If we learn something you need to know, You'll be in four.
Hanako is somewhere up on Katanga's mainframe decks. Looks like he's been searching for a safe place to hide from all the Xenos aboard. Our mission hasn't changed. Find him, get him out alive. Honaker, you out there? Staff Sergeant Herrera, Colonial Marines. He's in a radio dead zone. Patch into the local network. You read? Yeah. Yeah, a lot clearer. Listen, to get to me, you'll have to go through the network security room. Lock down the deck. The overrides in network security up in the op center. Did you hear explosions just now? Just the sound of bugs meeting the bottom of a combat boot. Grabbing ammo. I got you. Eight kids here. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I can see you on my monitors now. Wait, Xenomorphs, heading to you. Let us handle it. Destroyed. 
army. Wow. Ah, uh, our fights in Paula Station went very differently. Sorry. Uh, have you seen a gray striped xenomorph? Striped? No. Have you been down to the surface? Did you make any arrests? We can't discuss operations on an open channel, Doc. Uh, right. Yeah, of course. Bypassing damage. Patch it Bypassing up. damage. Patching up. <laughs> 